Greetings. Let's try this again. So I'm back. I want to work a little bit more on the my facial framer thing that I've got here. Um, to round it off a little bit. Uh, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close that. That. And actually that. And then... Uh, there it is. And as we got it working last time, I'm looking at the code, I'm looking at the other side, at the code at the other side. First thing I want to do is I want to stop it from launching the dev tool. Still, I haven't figured out why it's freaking out with the camera. Maybe because it's not letting it go. Yeah. I mean, I've got code in here to kind of release the streams. Because it seems like you can only have one thing grabbing your camera stream at a time. Let me just push off a little bit closer here. Okay. So what I want to do actually is I want to, because I've been running over time, these things are getting really, really long. I'm actually gonna, I've got a timer on a different window here. What I want to do is I want to add a way of tracking the time at the bottom of this. So I've got the video element going to add like a Pomodoro timer. I'll just call it timer. And the way I want it to work is I want to have like a bar, like just kind of is like a progress bar that doesn't take up a lot of space. I don't want it to be garish and in your face and stuff. So I'm going to add a bar. And I'm going to have time here. I'm going to have absolute position. Should make position here relative. Z index to put this behind the timer. So that's going to be a position absolute. I want it to be at the bottom left. I want it to span the width of it. I'm going to add it. Give it a background. So, index of the other one, the other element, but not the actual, there we go, so there's my timer, K, 
Okay, so let me take that out and go. Just take this and script. I don't want to do the transition through that. What I want to do is, I want to have, I should do this in some different minutes. seconds that have passed and then divide that by timer then I want to Timer, that'll be the timer bar, which is the point I'm trying to update. Um, what I'm going to do is go timer bar, yeah, oh god, oh god, width equal to progress. Because I want it to be a percent. Let's see. 
Y I'm going to go request animation frame timer. So, that's a minute, I'm going to do one minute. Okay, cool, so that's working, but I'm just going to shorten the timer quick, just to get it working a bit better. And also, I don't need the transition anymore. I could do it just to smooth it out. And I want to do that in milliseconds. Okay, so. So one thing I do see, I'm going to just max out. Sorry, yeah. so the max will be one. So I need to do the minimum is one, otherwise that, that's fine.
work. This is language they can do that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a little just a very subtle kind of background to the bar uh, using a pseudo elements Inside the timer, so there we go. Yeah. Transition. Oh, there we go. Oh. All right. Release the stream. if that's making stuff the constant log out I mean I'm just uh, getting in the weeds here I really don't need to do that much because this is going to be 25 minutes time That's going to be 
Timer times quarter. No, that'll be three quarters into it. So then I can say if I don't need to do that. So I'm going to say if progress is greater than or equal to 1.75 and I'm going to say timer bar equal not bear bar dot class list dot add um, I'm Oh, oh. This is a Five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi. Uh, 
elapsed. So time elapsed. I can't believe I have to look at this, but convert. Okay, so that's 25 minutes. And I want to get the... Time encounter. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, jQuery really knows how to freaking stick around. If I could give anybody advice about learning JavaScript or doing JavaScript, just do it natively. Like using things like jQuery, especially as a starter. Absolutely. 
safety so it doesn't push the bar down. And the bottom, I want one M, and then I'm going to bump it up with the margin bottom of two pixels. I want the color to be white. I want the font to be mono space and size it's not one rem i want it to be up and right and one rem so that those are the padding and so let's see that Oh, whoa, 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 Digit number string trying to get a number, then I want to return. Blah! Return if the number less than ten, less than two digits, send zero with the number. Otherwise, just return the number. And then two, two digits, number string, both minutes, two, oh, the way. Seconds. And then got, got something as margin of two four. One size two five. down. Uh, whoop. Button 0.5. Uh, 
Okay. M left will be seventy five percent. Background will be white. Seventy-five percent mark, which is cool, 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 cool. cool. What I do is I'm gonna actually make it a little bit wider. that last quarter on the timer itself and then do cascading I'm going to say timer last quarter dot timer bar and then I'm going to say the timer dot last quarter timer counter String as a child. I'm going to say opacity is one because I'm going to make that counter opacity. It's going to be hidden until I start running out of time. Then it will be a visual cue for me for the time. So that's opacity is zero. And then I'm going to transition that opacity to faded. What I'm actually going to do as well as to nah, let's start simple and then we can embellish. Awesome. Okie doke. So, maybe if I actually make that 0.2. Quite small. Um, one side. I'm not sure I like that. Ah, oh, brim. Size. It seems a bit. Stop this one there. I've run way over time. I'm not sure how much over time. Uh, oh, that's another 40 cent, 40 cent, 40 minutes coding session. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you did watch, and all the way to the end. Ciao. That was quite something to have in the background there.
But cool. Ciao. Thank you very much, guys.